Hey everyone, welcome to Nancy Vid and welcome to 2017. Oh my god, 2016 was a crazy year. Uh, we did so much last year. We raised over $150 for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, we played a bunch of games, had some fun, made some lookbooks, got over 14,000 views on one video. And that alone shocked me because I am a very, very, very small little channel in my little corner of the internet. And if you are new here and you've come to my little corner, please subscribe. It'll make me very, very happy to see that you are joining our little family. So at the beginning of last year, I did a video with my cousin and we did a kind of a 2016 new you kind of look. We are going to do one more, a special one for you guys in a few weeks. Um, the next time that she comes over and we record, that is the first thing that we are going to do. So if you guys are looking forward to that, let me know down in the comments below. It'll be really special and really entertaining for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And for today's video, the look is um, this. The first thing that I tell anybody for their face when they do makeup is to get yourself one of your favorite primers. And this can be a clear primer that you put all over your face. I use a correcting primer specifically for my little my little red spots that I have on my face, you know, from like acne and all that stuff. If you want a suggestion for one, I would use the Pure Cosmetics um, primers because they are for your face. They're there to protect your face from your makeup, basically, but still keep your makeup on without it running off throughout the entire day. You know, just put a little bit on the back of your hand. Put it on the little areas that you need it, or if you're using a clear primer, put it all over your face. Um, I suggest putting it in with a beauty sponge. This is supposed to look this color. This was not one of the pink or blue ones or anything. This is an orange sponge. So don't go down in the comments below saying, ew, it's all stained, or ew, you got so much makeup, you need to wash it. I have washed it. This is the color that it is. It is orange. Just want to put that out there because I've had people come over and tell me how gross it looks. I'm sorry this is the color that I got it in. And then after you're done putting on all your primer, you're going to want to get your favorite foundation. Everybody has their favorite. Mine right now, I mean it's not my favorite, it's just the one that I'm using because I ran out of my other favorite. Um, but I am using Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the color 110 and that is porcelain. Put it on the back of my hand, get a damp beauty sponge like before, put it on, dab it all over your face. Um, make sure it's all blended into your neck as well because especially if you have a foundation that is slightly a different color you will see a line along your chin and it'll look like you literally have a mask on. So blend it into your skin, okay? A lot of people either put this on before they put on foundation but I put it on afterwards because I have the correcting primer and that is concealer. Right now, this is not my favorite concealer, but this is the one that I'm using. Um, it is Maybelline's New York Master Concealer by Face Studio. Took the pointed edge, which I actually ripped off with my nail because my nail was super sharp and I was trying to squeeze everything out. The top of it, and I would just go over a few times on each trouble spot. I would go back and blend it in, kind of just to give it a second to realize, oh, this is where I need to stay. Then after I was all done putting my foundation on, concealer, primer, all that stuff, um, I took a big fluffy brush. I took my NYX HD Studio finishing powder and took whatever I had. So with whatever I had left in here, because I do use this basically all the time, whether I'm just going to class or not, because it just gives me a nice matte finish on my face. I swirled it in there with a big fluffy brush. So I made sure everything was nice and blended out and I went to my eyes. So let's zoom in on my eyes. So I took my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, opened it up, and I first used the color Nooner with this nice little blending brush by e.l.f. Tapped it off on my hand because as you see there is some like fallout that happens and I blended it into the crease and blended it up. I then took this flat brush, took the color Liar and just put it on the inner, not the inner, the outer corner of my eye just to give it a little bit more dimension. I just took a big fluffy blending brush, which I don't know what brand this is. It's a brown, brown brand. I took the brown brand, took this fluffy brush, blended everything up. 
I took that angled brush and went into the color dark side right here all the way on the end. Yes, I'm missing one. It just fell out as soon as I bought it, but I didn't complain because it was a gift. And put it right on my the line of my eye, like I'm lining my eyes, and made a little tiny little wing and then blended into my lower lashes just on the corners and then I put it into my crease. So I blend it all together, blend the lower lashes, blend that little cat eye that I made, and then blended the crease all together and then just kept blending up until I had a little nice little area to put some highlight. I took my eyebrow brush um, pen, this is not a pen, um, this brush by e.l.f. and went in with the color Strange and just put it right underneath my brow bone and then right in the corner of my eye. Um, kind of blended it into my brow bone so it doesn't look like a harsh white line. It's all done. I kept blending, you know, making sure everything was blended. I wanted everything blended because, you know, you don't want something not blended. And after I was all done with that, I took my finger. It's the best tool that you'll ever have. I looked a little bit. Not a lot. Just go like... Okay? And I went like this. So I went like this with the color trick and dabbed it on from the inner corner like right on the edge of the inner corner to the middle and then after I was all done with that I took my blending brush and blended it all out to take this guy and separate my eyelashes just in case there was any residue from mascara from the day before just so it's not clumping together I did brush out my eyebrows I don't fill them in because they're big and fluffy already we don't need them fluffier or bigger so I just comb everything out my favorite mascara right now is this one it's kind of dirty because I use it all the time and I take it everywhere with me and it is the falsies big eyes by Maybelline New York um, I took that and I like this because it has there's supposed to be a side for lower lashes and a side for upper lashes which is like big spoolie small spoolie but what I like to do is I take the small spoolie first just to coat every single one individually so that they're nice and separated. And then I go in with the bigger spoolie because it has more product on it and then go over them. So it's like a step one and step two kind of mascara, which I still use the little one just for the lower lashes. I like to do it that way. It gives it um, more volume without looking like you have spider eyes, you know, when they all clump together. For my cheeks, I take the Tarte Amazon Clay 12 hour blush. And I take my blush brush from Real Techniques, put some product on it, you know, tap it off just a little bit, but I start from my temple and go down right above where you would have like contour and just go right above and blend it up. When my cheeks do get red, a lot of the time it is. It's not here where a lot of people put blush sometimes. It's on the outer corner of my cheeks that get really red. So it looks a lot more natural. And then along with that, I like to get a little bronzy, and instead of doing contour that I'm really bad at, I like to use Too Faces, the sweetheart, like, little bronzer. It's called Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer, and I do the same thing where I start from the temple, then after, basically you're done for your face. But if you like to put on lipstick, and you like fancy lipstick, I have um, the Kylie Posey K. I got this for Christmas from my mama. I'm not always a fan of using lip liners because I'm so lazy. Plus, a lot of times, you know, they take up an extra minute that you don't want to do. But, I mean, if you're really up for it to put on the Kylie lipstick, I suggest putting this on because it just keeps it nice and even, even if it starts, like, rubbing off um, throughout the day. So, you line your lips, you fill it in, and there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for a wonderful 2016. It was a great year, had so much fun, and we grew a lot. And hopefully it's the same as last year and we're just continually growing and having fun on this channel. And still doing some charity events in the future that I am planning on doing some fun videos for. Thank you again guys. I hope you have a wonderful 2017 and I'll see you guys in the next video.